All right, now let's see if you know enough geometry to figure out this problem. Now I'm going to show you a more detailed version of this question, but uh, just for uh, our first impression of the problem, I'm going to keep things nice and simple. So what we're trying to do here is find the measure of this arc right here highlighted in yellow. So this uh, kind of portion of the circle right here is called an arc, and we're trying to figure out how many degrees this is. Now what we have is a line that is running tangent to this circle. Now I'll explain what a tangent line means in just one second. So this line is tangent to the circle, and this line right here runs through the center of the circle. Now I'm kind of giving you a big hint here uh, that uh, this line and this line are perpendicular, i.e. they form a 90 degree angle. Now we have another point over here that's going to connect to this point. So all three of these points are going to form a triangle. And the angle or this uh, angle and this triangle being formed is 47 degrees. All right, so that's all the information that you need to know to find the measure of this arc. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, this line right here is tangent to this circle. This line runs through the center of the circle. So from this point, from this point to this point, there is a triangle being formed, and this angle right here is 47 degrees. And of course, the question is, what is the measure of this arc right here? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is 86 degrees. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus and you're like, hey, Mr. Two, two Math Man, I must be so bad in geometry. Well, uh, don't feel that way. Actually, this is pretty simple to solve, but there is a lot of little things that you need to understand about geometry, i.e. what a tangent line is. And uh, the biggest thing here is that we have an, ins uh, an inscribed angle inside of a circle. So there is a relationship between this angle here and this arc. All right, so let's go ahead and learn a thing or two about arcs, tangent lines, and inscribed angles. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. All right, so here it is. And again, I kind of explained to you what's going on. We're looking for the measure of this arc right here. And all we know is that this line, BC, is tangent to the circle at point B. Okay, we also do know the measure of angle ACB, so A, C, B, right? So that's this angle. We know that angle, and we know the fact that this line is tangent to this circle. That's pretty much uh, uh, all we know, and we're looking for this arc measure. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and get into the first thing we need to know about the situation. And the first uh, kind of fact that you need to be aware of is anytime you have a tangent line, now what does the word tangent mean? Okay, this is a big uh, word in mathematics. And let me just ask you, okay, if I'm, I'll just kind of do a little pop quiz here. This line is tangent to this circle. What do you think the word tangent means? Now, if you're like, well, it looks like the line is barely touching the circle, well, you would be correct. Matter of fact, I'd give you a nice little happy face for that response. That's exactly what it means. A tangent line is a line that just touches, uh, you know, it could, it could be something other than a circle as well. It could be like some sort of, you know, like parabola or something like that. You can have a tangent line. So the point of tangency is one point. That's the line touches the graph. In this case, it's a circle at one exact point. So this is what we call the point of tangency. Now, uh, now that we understand what a tangent line is and the point of tangency, the next thing we need to know, and this is really the key to unlocking the, uh, the solution to this problem, is that uh, from the point of tangency, the tangent point right there, okay, uh, when, a, when a line, a ta when you have a tangent line or a line tangent to a circle, that point of tangency, okay, is perpendicular when we draw, if we draw a line from the point of tangency to the center of the circle, i.e. the radius right here, uh, it is perpendicular, okay, it forms a perpendicular angle. So like here is the radius right there, right? So where could we find 
the point of tangency? Well, let's just draw a little perpendicular angle. It would be perpendicular to the radius right here, right? So it would be something like there. That's where the point of, uh, that was where the tangent line would lie. Now, I'm kind of not expressing uh, what we call theorems in uh, geometry. I'm kind of using uh, loose language and kind of some figures here, just so all of you out there can understand. I don't need to be like overly technical about this, but again, when you have a tangent line or, or the radius, okay, and you kind of have to think about it both ways. Here's a point of tan. This is the point of tangency, so a tangent line will be perpendicular to the radius. Okay, so this is fact number one, and let's go down and now apply that knowledge to the situation. Okay, so remember, uh, let's go back up to the problem so you don't forget that the measure. All right, this little M right there means measure. That's all that means. The measure of angle ACB. So ACB is right there, right? It's 47 degrees. So we know that. Now we know something about tangent lines and the radius. So now let's put this together here. Okay, so here's ACB. That's 47 degrees. This was given information. Okay. Now, and here is our tangent point. Remember, this line. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, we are talking about uh, geometry in this uh, particular video. And if you really want to learn geometry from me, check out these courses right here. You can find links to them uh, in the description of this video. So I teach uh, basic geometry in my pre-algebra course, but uh, if you are taking like a full comprehensive one-year geometry course, well then check out my full geometry course, right? I teach pretty much everything in this course to include proofs. And then also, if you just kind of want to review some geometry and other basic math skills and algebra, check out my math skills rebuilder course. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem is uh, its point of tangency is point B. Now notice the figure, this this line is going through the center of the circle, O, okay? So that means this is the radius right here, okay? So in other words, if this is the radius, okay, this whole thing is the diameter, this is the radius, well then this is has to be perpendicular. Now what does that word mean? Well, it means that this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so I have two angles, I have this angle and this angle of this triangle, so I can easily get this because there's 180 degrees. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, so all I have to do is subtract away this and this, these two angles, and I'll have this angle there. So that'll be our next step. So if uh, some of you are like, oh wow, okay, now I see where this is going. Well, that's the whole purpose of me doing this video. All right, so, uh, so we'll just subtract away the 47 and the 90, de uh, 90 degrees, and we end up with 43 degrees right here. Okay, so now this is really important because this angle, okay, if you kind of notice, this angle has something in common with this arc right here. You see this? So our angle 43, uh, 43 degrees has something in common with the arc in question. Remember, we're looking for the measure of, of arc BG. Okay, from here to here, along the outside of the circle, we're looking for how many degrees this is. All right, so at this point, we need our second kind of uh, piece of information to figure out the rest of this problem. Okay, so what is that? Well, here is one of the many, many things you need to know about circles, again, at the high school level. So when you have an inscribed angle, Okay, so here, this is what we call a chord, all right? It's just a line that goes from one edge of the circle to the other, okay? You got to make sure you understand these uh, this kind of terminology. So here's one chord, here's another chord. So this is an inscribed angle inside of a circle. So this is kind of our situation, right? So right here, if you kind of look at what we're looking at, this is an inscribed angle as well. So you kind of have to match up the pattern of what you're dealing with. So we have an inscribed angle, and here we have a lovely little uh, kind of formula about inscribed angles, a theorem, uh, if you will. Uh, but basically what it says is this, the measure of, 
of angle ABC. So here's ABC. The measure of this angle right here is one half the measure of the chord. So here, this chord right here, AC, okay? So if we have the measure of the chord, in this simple example, we do, it's 100 degrees, right? This, or the, I'm sorry, not the measure of the chord, measure the arc. My apologies. So we have arc AC. So we just always, to find the measure of this angle, we just simply take one half of this arc and we have this angle here, okay? So this is the formula we need to know. Now, in this case, uh, we don't have the arc, we have this angle. So how can we get this arc? Well, it's not going to be one half. We just need to double it, right? So we have this uh, piece of information. So the arc is going to be double the inscribed angle, okay? If we had the um, arc, we would take one half of it and we'd have the inscribed angle. But if we have the inscribed angle, we just have to double it and we get the arc. And that's all we need to do to finally solve this problem. Okay, so here uh, we have our 43 degrees. We're looking for the respective arc here of this uh, inscribed angle. So all we have to do is double it. So 43 times 2 is, of course, 86 degrees. So that is the measure of that arc right there. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, check out these courses right here. So in my pre-algebra course, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry. But uh, if you have to understand all things geometry to include uh, proofs, then you got to check out my full geometry course. Now, if you want a good math review of basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.